Hey, what's up everyone? So I am here in Seattle. I've been here for about a week or so, just kind of getting all my gear together for my uh, my next bigger adventure and my next trip. Um, going to uh, from Canada down to Mexico, taking the Pacific route. Uh, it's a cycling uh, trip. So it's like, uh, I believe it's like 3,000 kilometers, about 2,000 miles. Uh, first time doing it. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't think I've ever cycled more than like a few hours in a day. So. Um, yeah, so I got all the gear, I got everything together. I figured this would be a perfect time to go ahead and uh, make a gear video. Um, all the stuff I bought was all, it, it's pretty cheap. I mean, you could get, yeah, just a bike alone, you could get up to like three grand or whatever. I figured this trip's only going to take about a month or two. So if I like it and if I want to go a little further with it, maybe go, you know, South America or Europe or across the U.S. or something like that uh, from west to east, well, east west. Um, then I could invest a little bit more, but this is just kind of like a little trial run, even though it's going to be about a month or two, uh, it's, it's going to be one hell of a trial run. But, uh, anyways, yeah, so I have everything laid out and, uh, let me go ahead and flip this camera around and just, uh, go through everything for you guys. All right, here we go. All right, guys. Well, right, might as well get started with the bike. Uh, so nothing special. It's a cheapy bike. I think it only cost me like a few hundred bucks. Um, <clears throat> it's a uh, road bike with thicker, uh, thicker tires on it. It's steel. It is lower gears though, uh, which is going to be unfortunate. I hear like you really want to, you know, go as many gears as possible when you're going uphill and everything else. But again, you know, it's my first time trying it. So I figured I'd go a little cheaper. So I sacrificed here and there. We'll see. Uh, hopefully it won't bite me too bad. Um, rear rack on the back. Um, got the uh, pouch on the front. This is like I have all my most important stuff. Stuff to get out really quick. Uh, in fact, let me show you. All right. So right down here. You can see uh, there's a couple gloves, I'm, uh, padded gloves I'm gonna take with me. Um, I'm in Seattle uh, right now. It's been staying in like the 50s, high 50s, and low of 40s. So it might get a little chilly. I've uh, been pretty lucky, it hasn't rained too bad, but you never know, especially, you know, I'm sure you guys already heard about Seattle. Uh, I have a little uh, headlamp, compass, a few napkins, uh, it's just a bunch of chargers, my power bank. So I can power up my phone if it dies out while I'm riding. Some hand sanitizer. These are my lights, front and back. Um, again, like most of the stuff, it's going to be kind of cheapy stuff. Just kind of trying it out as I go. Uh, and then a real basic map. A lot of it's going to be through my phone. Uh, let's get started. I guess we could go with uh, one of the panniers. Let's go with this one. So it's going to be one side of the pannier. So uh, the panniers, I believe, are about 25 liters each waterproof. Um, and this one's going to be mostly my food. So I have a separate food bag. It's waterproof, uh, pretty sturdy. So I could go ahead and, uh, if I ever get to a place where it's, you know, I have to worry about bears or whatever, I could go ahead and, uh, use my paracord and just go ahead and tie it up, you know, string it up on a tree. This is real basic stuff. I'm hoping I hit a grocery store every, every night or so, so I could load up on like some real, you know, fruits and vegetables, some good food. Uh, but I have some backup, maybe a couple days worth. I have oatmeal, raisins, peanut butter, tuna fish, ramen, you know, all the, all the staple camping food. Um, let's see here. Uh, just a, you know, nothing special. A uh, couple of pots, uh, some gas, my little stove, a uh, little sponge, water bottle. Uh, I'm just going to try this out. Uh, I was going to, I mean, I, I don't know, I'm going to, carry a couple liters worth of water. Hopefully there'll be a lot of gas stations and restaurants and stuff along the way and, and I won't even need that. So I figured I'd just get a little cheapy bottle um, as backup. I probably only fill it about halfway and uh, just, just see how it goes. Um, let's see what else. All right, yeah, so that's gonna be a lot of weight, the food and the water. So that's gonna be for that pannier for the most part. Uh, this is the second pannier here. And this is gonna be, it's gonna hold a lot of my tools. So real basic stuff, you know, crescent wrench, pair of pliers, lineman pliers, uh, uh, multi-tool, multi-tool bike. Um, yeah, all that good stuff. Couple of um, uh, spare tubes, oil, a lock. This is mostly if I hit a gym or whatever along the way. Uh, I have a Planet Fitness membership. And I'm hoping there'll be a few along the way so I can stop and shower up so I could just, you know, just lock up my stuff. Uh, a pump, a little book to read along the way, a little notebook, a little notebook, a pad, pen, basic first aid kit, all the basic stuff, you know, some, well, I probably won't even use most of this. 
A uh, little hand warmer just in case. Wait, it's not this. I figured I'd bring it. I also have my electronic bag here. So this is just um, uh, just some memory, bunch of cables, flashlight, batteries, etc. This is my bear trimmer. Uh, this is a new thing I picked up. 20, uh, 28 watt solar charger panel here. So I don't know how this works. Uh, I'm hoping I could just strap this to the back of my bike while I'm riding and hopefully it'll charge my phone up. I have a, an extension cord for my uh, phone. So hopefully I could just use my phone the whole way and just you know listen to my iPod, talk to people and use the maps and everything without having to dip into my power bank. That'd be great. Um, a little selfie stick. I also have my hygiene bag. So just uh, some toilet paper, just in case, um, you know, I go through a lot of woods along the way, whatever. Uh, baby wipes, just in case I'm not able to get the showers at night. You know, I don't, I don't know how often I'll be able to shower along the way, so I can use baby wipes instead. Uh, uh, then, yeah, just basic stuff, toothpaste, uh, some shampoo, uh, yeah, all basic stuff. And this is some extra, some extra hand sanitizer. Okay, let's see here. And now, okay, this is gonna be my top bag. So I also have a little duffel bag that I'm gonna put over my panniers. So the pannier is obviously gonna hang on the two sides. And then on top, I go ahead and put this duffel bag. This duffel bag, I think it's like 50, 60 liters or something. Uh, in the center, I'm gonna go ahead and put my tent and uh, pad. And that should fit in the middle of this bag, which should fit nice and tight right between those two. And then on top of that, I'm going to have my packing cube, which is going to hold most of my clothes. Uh, and then there's also going to be room for my sleeping bag. Uh, right here is a compression sack. Um, so I'm actually washing my sleeping bag right now, but it's nothing special. just a basic sleeping bag. Um, as far as clothes goes, uh, because of the weather, it's real iffy uh, at this time of the year, especially being in the... Uh, um, we call it Northwest Seattle snow for rain. It could get a little chilly at night. Uh, so I have a heavier jacket. Uh, that's going to be mostly maybe for like when I'm at camp or something at the end of the day. Uh, I also have my rain jacket. This is my rain gear, rain jacket, rain pants. And first time using this stuff. So this is like, um, it goes over the shoes. Uh, I guess like a you know, rain guard for your uh, for your shoes so it don't get all, all wet on you. Uh, sleeping gear is going to be a t-shirt. Uh, some long john pants and also a pair of shorts. I kind of switch out of those two. Um, let's see here. So uh, microfiber towel things, nothing. It's like one foot by one foot, but it's like the best. I mean, you could just wring it out as you're using it, and uh, just works great. I've been using it for the for years now. A lot of my trips, not this particular one, but similar. Uh, socks and bring a couple of socks, a couple of regular underwear, a couple of padded underwear. So this was highly recommended. We'll see. Let's see how this works out for me. Um, uh, a light jacket. Um, this might be overkill. I don't know if I'm going to need that plus the heavy jacket plus the rain jacket. I had it. I figured I'd bring it. And it's cheap enough. I don't really care for it. I, you know, If I don't use it after a while, I might dump it. Oh, and I might dump the bigger jacket too when I go further down south into like California. If it's an issue, you know. Um, I don't know if carrying that extra little bit is going to be a problem. Uh, cargo shorts. Uh, hiking Hiking pants. A little belt. Uh, an extra sweater. This will probably be more for, you know, at night. Uh, muffle of sleeping gear. If I get really cold at camp or something, I guess I could throw this on. So again, that's might be a little overkill. I probably could have just done with one jacket or one sweater or maybe just the rain jacket, but we'll see. Um, and like I said, if it's a big deal, I could just dump it. These are all pretty cheap things. Not, not a big deal. Uh, some hiking socks. Um, this one's a little thicker and that's more probably for at night. Um, I got, I have one short sleeve shirt, one long sleeve shirt. Um, oh, and a pair of flip flops and, uh, that's about it. Oh, and then I have, what is it? Is it the mummy liner? Silk mummy liner, so it just makes my uh, bag last a little longer without having to wash it. Or then when I switch out in uh, California, maybe I'll mail my bag, uh, my other, my thicker bag back, sleeping bag, or I'll just give it away and just use this. And I'm also going to bring this. I don't know. It's probably going to be a waste, but it weighs like nothing. It's nothing I don't really care about. I could dump out uh, just in case. I don't know if I'm in a place that's a little too noisy or it's too much light or for whatever reason. I'll go ahead and throw these on. Um, so that's it, man. Yeah, so everything is going to fit into um, that 50 liter duffel bag, and there's plenty of room for it. Uh, I'll show you a picture at the end. And uh, my two 25 liter panniers, and the little front. I think this is only like a 
few liters, a couple of liters or something like that. And it all goes on my bike and that's it. Hey guys, all right, well, that's my video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's gonna be home for the next month or two. Wish me luck. It's my first time doing this, like I said before. Uh, so I'm gonna have a bunch of other videos. I'm sure it's gonna be a bunch of learning, hard learning, and uh, adventure along the way. So uh, stay tuned and um, catch you next time. Peace.